गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टू अवर टॉपिक इज माई एस क्वेल एग्रीगेट फंक्शन एंड दिस इज माई एस क्वेल एग्रीगेट फंक्शन पार्ट फोर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मिन फंक्शन विच इज एन एग्रीगेट फंक्शन इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट काउंट फंक्शन सम फंक्शन एंड एवरेज फंक्शन सो एज द नेम सेस्ट मिन फंक्शन बेसिकली रिटर्न अ मिनिमम वैल्यू अमंग डिफरेंट वैल्यूज सो मिन फंक्शन एग्रेट फंक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस टेक अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ एग्रेट फंक्शन एग्रेट फंक्शन इज अ फंक्शन वेयर द वैल्यूज ऑफ मल्टीपल रोज आर ग्रुप्ड टूगेदर टू फॉर्म ए सिंगल समरी वैल्यू टू फॉर्म ए सिंगल समरी वैल्यू दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू फॉर्म फॉर्म ए सिंगल समरी वैल्यू टू फॉर्म सिंगल समरी वैल्यू एंड देर आर बेसिकली फाइव मेन एग्रीगेट फंक्शन दीज आर काउंट सम एवरेज मेन एंड मैक्स एंड In this lecture, we are going to discuss about min function. First of all, if you don't want to take data of a table and just uh, want to min uh, find out a minimum value among different numbers, so you can write on a screen just as uh, one thing should be remembered that this all function should be used with select statement. So first of all, just write select. And uh, then If you find out a minimum value, then then just write min. And after that, uh, within parentheses, just write different values out of which you have to find out the minimum value. Suppose there are two, three values, ten, twelve, and seventeen. And these are the three values, and these are not related to any table. And we select a statement. There is a compulsion that you have to write a table name. So just uh, write a table name due. It is a dummy table of a database. Then you can find out the minimum value. And minimum value in this case is ten. So output is ten. In this case. But uh, here we have to find out the minimum value in a table. So. let us check the functionality of min function the mysql min function the min function in mysql is used to return the minimum value in a set of value from the table and it is an aggregate function that is useful when we need to find the smallest number selecting the least expensive product etc and that is there is a syntax here and you can see that uh, select is here and then min and then aggregate expression out of which you have to find out the minimum value and there is a distinct clause distinct clause basically provide a uh, provide you a unique value if there is a repetition of data then uh, it count uh, uh, it count basically a, a value which is repeated so many number of times only one so that is the purpose of distinct clause here and then after from and then table names and then the where condition so condition is given with the where clause here so this is the syntax of my sql min function condition there is no uh, there is no uh, this is not compulsory that uh, there is always a condition on the behalf of that you have to find out the minimum value among uh, minimum value for our aggregate expression so it is not it is a optional part here and you can see that in the syntax whenever you just use a square bracket it uh, indicate that it is an optional part so we are condition and after that a sign of semicolon which indicate that uh, uh, statement is over here so this is the syntax of min function next a uh, parameter explain first of all here aggregate expression it is the required expression it specifies the column expressions name from which the minimum value will be returned table name it specifies the table from where we want to retrieve records and there must be at least one table listed in the from clause so there is no compulsion that there is only one value out of which you have to find out the aggregate expression and uh, minimum value so there may be more than one tables also and third is where conditions and as the 
I written here and I told you earlier that it is an optional it is optional and it specifies the condition that must be fulfilled for a records to be selected and then distinct so it allows us to return the minimum number of distinct values in the expression however it does not affect the minimum function and produces the same result without using this keyword without using this keyword so these are the parameters which are explained the two or more important things are there first of all table should be more uh, table may be more than one where condition is optional distinct clause allow us to return distinct value in the expressions and uh, there should always be an aggregate for expression uh, to count minimum value and uh, next is here you can see that there is a name table name employee and uh, there is a select statement select star from employee it means uh, employees they will select all columns of table name employees and uh, so and there is no condition specified here so complete data regarding the employee table is there and you can see that uh, employee id employee name employee age city income these are the columns means here or attributes of a table and uh, these are the records here you can easily see that and in the records you can easily find out the employee id is unique employee name is peter mark donald obama lincoln and uh, there is no repetition of data in employee name employee age you can easily see that uh, there are some repetition of data some employees have same age 32 32 40 35 32 again 45 35 40 again so there is a repetition of data then uh, city city is new york and uh, california arizona florida these are the name of the cities and then the income and uh, you can see here that uh, 25,000, 45,000, there is no repetition of data in terms of income, 20,000, 30,000, no repetition data, unique data for income. So there is a repetition of data and employee age. And uh, this is a table name employee and column names are for employee ID, employee name, employee age, city and income. Now, this is a basic example of a uh, main statement main function which is an aggregate function execute the following way that uses a mean function to find the minimum income of the employee available in the table so that is a table and uh, in which we can see that this is the column income and these are the different incomes of different employees and we have to find out the minimum uh, um, uh, minimum income among these and you can see that uh, i think 7000 is the minimum income so the answer will be 7000 but for 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 for, for, for this uh, you have to write first of all select and the name of the function min and since you have to find out the minimum income so just write the name of the column income you can easily see that income here and then as it gives you alternative name minimum income minimum income so it is an alternative name basically uh, it is a uh, it works as a column name when you show the output here you can easily see that here is the output if you don't write this then uh, column name is minimum income and then from from is a keyword then table name there is only a single table so we just write employees here and you can find out you can see that minimum income is 7000 so that is a basic example of uh, mysql minimum function next uh, minimum function with where clause so as you know that uh, where clause is used to specify the condition and uh, if condition is given then you can also find out the minimum value so condition is given with where clause there may be one condition or maybe more than one condition if there may be more than one condition then you can separate with them using and or or operators and when you use and operator it simply means that uh, both of the condition will true only then uh, the data is filtered according to that 
otherwise uh, if you use uh, or then it means uh, then uh, whenever there is a single condition will found to be true then uh, data will be selected according to that so the where clause allows to filter the result from the selected records and the following statement find the minimum income in all lows from the employees table and where clause specifies all lows from employee age column is greater than or equal to 32 and less than or equal to 42 now here condition is such a way that uh, we have to find out the minimum employee minimum income of employee of our employee in such a way that the employee age should be greater than and equal to 32 but less than or equal to 40 so only those employees considered here are considered here whose age is greater than or equal to 32 and less than 45 less than or equal to 40 so you can see here that uh, this is the employee whose age is greater than 40 and uh, rest are less than this is again 2 2 less are less than uh, 40 and less than 32 less than 32 i think no no value is less than 32 here so 32 is itself a minimum value among this so of course the answer will be 32 answer will be no answer age will be 30 I minimum mean is 32 and maximum age is 40 so only two values are injected here or two records will be here this and that and for this uh, you have to find out the minimum income minimum income for these ages so for all these ages you have to find out the minimum income and as you see that 7000 is the minimum age minimum income and it is already rejected so and 45000 is already rejected so i think 20000 is the minimum so it will be the answer let us check after execution of this statement what happens here select min income as minimum income so as minimum income as is a keyword as you know that as is a keyword and it provides a alternative name to the function min income and then from employees employees is the table name and there is a condition employee is greater than 32 and employee is less than 40 let us check what happens you can easily see that this is the command here and that is the output 20,000 is the output so here we can say that uh, minimum function basically find out the minimum value of uh, column name uh, among column name or uh, we can say that here the, is the income is the aggregate expression aggregate expression so minimum income is 20,000 and remember that there are two condition here and uh, it will found the value of minimum income for age greater than 32 as well as employees less than 40 because these two conditions separated by end operator here next uh, my sql minimum function with group by clause group by clause is a very important clause and uh, definitely it will ask uh, it will be asking your examination it will be asking your examination so group by clause basically group or records on basis of some column or values so the group by clause allows us to collect data from multiple rows collect data from multiple rows and group it based on one or more column so group is basically based on one or more column most of the time it is a single column and for example the following statement uses a min function with the group by clause to find the minimum income in all rows from the employees table for each employee age group you can see here select employee age select employee age and then min income as minimum income again as minimum income is alternative name to minimum income and then from employees employees is the name of table and the group by employees so according to the here condition in group by employees records of the employees will be grouped on the basis of employee age and you can see here this is our original table and there is a repetition of data again so there is a group of third age 32 
then there is a group of age 35 then 40 and then 45 the four groups are there four groups are there and so group is based on that condition next uh, and you have to find out the minimum income for that group so minimum income for that group now if we execute this and you can see that already there are four groups 32 40 35 and 45 and uh, for 32 you can easily see that first of all let us check the original data original table for 32 you can see that uh, 20,000 is income of Peter Peter's income is 20,000 Mark's income is 30,000 and uh, Georgia is 25,000 and uh, Brian is 40,000 so among these 20,000 in minimum because we have to we have to find out the minimum value so 20,000 is the minimum value for 32 now uh, let us see uh, here we make a group on the basis of employee age and uh, we have to find out the minimum income so for employee is 32 which is a group here minimum age is 20,000 and uh, in such a manner for 40 employee is 40 there is a group of employee is 40 in which minimum age is 35,000 and there is a group of age 35 in which the minimum age is 50,000 5 lakhs I think and then 45 uh, is a minimum income of 7,000 these are the minimum uh, income of different employees so now again let us see the query here select employee age minimum income you have to find out the minimum income but the most important thing is that you have to minimum income on the basis of a group and the group name is employee age and the we, he, we, here we make a group on the basis of employee age so 32 is repeated more than one time so 32 is a group if even uh, there is a single value then uh, a group will you make uh, for this also for example if there is a 33 then it doesn't mean that for 33 there is a no group for 33 there should all there should be a group uh, for 33 also age of 33 so for different values but if there is a repetition of values then uh, it uh, then this is considered as a single unit as you can see that 32 is repeated four times so it is considered as a single unit and makes a group here and if there is no repetition data it also makes a group so on the basis of that we here find out the minimum age minimum income for each age group next uh, our next is mm, our next uh, topic is MySQL minimum function with having clause so we have to find out the minimum function with having clause so one thing you should always remember that if you want to put a condition with a group then always use having clause so having clause is always used by group by function group by clause so both are both comes together and uh, if there is a condition on a group then having should be there if there is no condition of group then no need to write having clause so it uh, it is it is very simple some student gets confused between having and where clause having clause is always used on a group or with group but where clause is uh, used uh, for a general condition which is not related to the group so we put where clause after from table name and uh, we always put having clause after just after the group by clause as you can see here that there is a group by grand group is made on the basis of city and after that a condition name and uh, second important thing is that uh, when you make a con when you make a group on the basis of particular condition or particular call or name or uh, then with uh, you can put always a function name with having clause because condition is on the basis of a because a group is on the basis of a particular condition and that condition uh, should be mentioned with having clause here and you can see that uh, let us discuss this query again here first of all we have to find out the minimum value and we have to find out the minimum income and uh, we make a group on the basis of city 
and the condition is that uh, income is always greater than one lakh fifty thousand. So minimum can, minimum income should be greater than one lakh fifty thousand. So what we have to do here, just write select and then the name of the columns. Of course, it is the name of the columns and minimum income. As you can see here, that as is a keyword, and uh, after that there is a column name which provide a alternative alternative name for a uh, column minimum income, and then after table name from from is the keyword and then after table name employees and then group by city so we make a group on the basis of column city so first of all let us check a original table this is our original table and you can see that there are repetition of cities isn't it yes california appears two times and uh, florida again appears two times so group is based on the basis of city so actually city repeated more than one times here so we make a group uh, we make a group on the basis of city and here condition is that in star in group as city so And there's the condition that minimum income should be greater than one lakh fifty thousand. So minimum income should be greater than one lakh fifty thousand. So you can see here that is an original database, original table here. So it be greater than. You can see that for different cities, different incomes are there. And when you execute this query, remember that having clause contain a condition related to a group. This is the main. Objective of having clause. That is our answer. So all values are greater than one lakh fifty thousand. You can easily see here. And the group is based on on the city. So two columns name city and minimum and a minimum income. And why is so? Because here we put just the name of the city and. Uh, minimum income for minimum income we give a name of a column name as a minimum income so minimum income is let's say here min income replaced by minimum underscore income here yeah, you can easily see that and uh, group is based on the name of city so different cities are appears only at one time and for that condition minimum value selected but the condition is that greater value should be greater than one lakh fifty thousand, and this value should be provided with having clause here, and we provided it already here, so you can see that all values are greater than one lakh fifty thousand. So that is the purpose of having clause. So whenever you put a having clause, it then there is a condition, and that condition should always be related to a group. So condition related to a group should always be mentioned with having clause. So that is the main purpose of having clause here. The next topic is uh, our next query is MySQL min function with distinct clauses. So as the name says, distinct. So distinct clause basically uh, remove duplicate values from it. MySQL use distinct keyword to remove the duplicate rows from on the from the column name and uh, We can also use this clause with min function to return the minimum income value of a unique number of records present in a table It is a unique number of records present in a table and execute the following query that removes the duplicate record in the income column of the employees table group by city and then returns the minimum value you can see here that uh, it is the name of uh, columns, employee name and cities and minimum distinct income, distinct income. So here we just write distinct before income, which is the name of the column. So what happens actually, um, let us see our original table again. This is our original table and this is the income. And in this income, certain values are duplicated, duplicate and these values are 25,000, 35,000, 25,000. Okay. There may be certain value which are which are repeated. 
you can see the 20,000, 30,000, 1 lakh, 50,000, 35,000, 45,000, 5 lakh, 35,000, 40,000, 60,000, and 70,000. If there is a no duplication of values, then it's just ignore it. Otherwise, if there are more than one values, then it consider it as a single time. So here we can see that income is uh, basically uh, for every person there is a unique income so distinct clause basically here are used to differentiate or find out the distinct values for income if there are no distinct values in there then uh, or there is a duplication of values then it considered it as a single unit or single time or uh, right uh, or single unit or just to consider it as a only one time and uh, if there are already a distinct value in there then uh, uh, it is a uh, it gives a result according to the distinct clause and uh, already if there are distinct values in it then uh, no problem at all it just uh, calculate among these values according to the questions according to the requirement of the questions and here we can see that as minimum income from employee group by city so what I have to do first, first of all, there is a group and the group is formed on the basis of city here and uh, table name is employee and we have to find out the details of employee name and city and uh, we have to find out the distinct income as minimum income. So minimum in income, minimum income and uh, or minimum income is minimum underscore income is the alternative name of distinct income. So let us see what is the output of this program you can see that employee name city and minimum income employee name city and minimum income are the name of the columns here you can easily see that and uh, for these all values are reflected and there uh, since we use here distinct income so there is a no repetition of values in here you can easily see that 20,000, 7,000, 60,000, 35,000 etc these are the different values for that Four, five, six, six values are there on the basis of city. So this is the purpose of our distinct clause. So distinct clause is basically used to find out the unique value, and uh, duplication values are not allowed when we use distinct clause here. So this is the all about of uh, minimum function, and uh, till now. We already discussed uh, four main aggregate function. This is count function, sum function, average function, min function, and max function. And uh, now there is only one aggregate function is remaining, which will be discussed in our next video, and that is a max function, uh, which is just opposite to the true that of the main function. If you just uh, if you are able to understand the concept of main function, then you can easily calculate the you can easy to understand the concept of max function also. And always remember that these are the aggregate function and uh, they are used uh, most of the time with the group by function, uh, group by clause, group by clause and in question, in, in, in exam, they basically there are equation related to the group by clause and aggregate function and the combination of both uh, these uh, topics, there is a question related to group by and an aggregate function. Which will definitely be asked, which will definitely be, uh, definitely be asked in your examination whether it is related to a count function, sum, average mean, or max function. So first of all, um, learn the definition of aggregate function. That aggregate function is a function where the values of multiple rows are grouped together to form a uh, form a single summary value. That is called the aggregate function, and that's why count, sum, average, and mean, min, max are called the aggregate functions. And these functions are used with the uh, uh, group by clause also. So there is a possibility that uh, a question is definitely asked in your examination about uh, group by clause with aggregate functions so thanks for watching this video i hope you like this video and uh, thanks for watching this video